Oh my gosh. Holy cow. So, uh, I have been searching. I set my camera down like a day and a half ago. I forgot where I set it down. I found my camera because I'm talking to it now. Uh, it is exactly where I left it. We are going to, I just talked to the guy I'm buying my tent from. Possibly, we're gonna go check it out. This is a, this is a CBT, the Summit Series Denali tent. Uh, it has the annex already. So what is happening is I am super impatient. Look at Denali. It's like a sign. Yeah, so there's a guy locally that has a CVT um, Summit Series Denali tent that's been used like a handful of times for sale. We've kind of gone back and forth because I already pre-ordered my Overlander 2 Gen 2 XL. But that's taking a little while. So I might just sell that to a buddy. Maybe I'll put that on the Lambo for a video. That'd be kind of sweet. All right, we have made it. The tent is here. Check this bad boy out. We got the annex. What else is in here? There's an annex and there's, oh, floor. and then the floor. And this bag is like, like the real deal. <laughs> oh man, check it out. So we got the hookup. We got, uh, this thing's got an annex. It's got the rubber floor. It has, uh, it's, it's got the whole works. He gave me the mounts for in his garage. So we'll be able to lift this thing right off of the truck with two bolt or with, eight bolts we'll just loosen it up yeah it's i'm super pumped there's a ton of room in this thing i didn't uh, i didn't show you guys i'll show you we're gonna get this thing set up here we are mounting the tent today check it out the rack is on so this is a full custom made rack we're gonna add um right now so this was originally this is a ladder rack and the ladder rack would have been strong enough but the ladder rack went all the way up to the roof level and i want it down some so that when our cvt tent sits on the roof there is still some windbreak kind of coming over it so in theory that was my thought um and then we can still access the tunnel cover tailgate everything works perfect i was i'm so impressed with how this turned out so impressed i can't even begin uh to tell you how much i mean like look at this how awesome this is <laughs> and we got all the holes for mounting all our different stuff we did just place an order with four wheel parts in brooklyn park to get um oh, there's there's a handful of stuff coming some pretty awesomeness so stay tuned for that uh and so let's get to this i have not ever mounted a rooftop tent before so here's the tent look at all this stuff in here we got the new hitch look this is the world's largest hitch literally this is the biggest hitch i've ever seen in my life it's like 150 pounds. So we bought, uh, so the CBT tent came with the cold winter kit, whatever that is. Uh, we've got the annex, which is awesome to have. And then the rubber floor for the annex. My plan is that I'm gonna try to um, just set it up in the air with the skid loader and then like slide it on the rack maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Look at this mess. Look at all this stuff. It's getting there. All right, so we got to make sure that this tent goes on the right way, which I think from what I've seen is I want the... I want it to open up towards the driver's side. We're going to open up towards the passenger side. I don't really know. Maybe we'll open up towards the passenger side. I'll put the awning on my side. Let's see where the bugs are on it. Let's see which way he had it. Oh yeah, that, this side goes to the front. Holy buckets. So with the size of the bars that we used, we used, uh, what do we use, like inch, one inch and a half inch uh, 
square tubing. So here are we need the CVT tent mounts. So what these do, these slide into this groove right here, right? Yeah, you pop the ends off, check this out. Pop these little ends off, don't lose them. They slide into this groove just like that. And then you go one to each side of your post and then um, shoot there's a uh, somewhere there's supposed to be a metal plate uh, you know what the metal plate might be inside the tent shoot so that's not good because the tent is not the other thing we need to check is if we got the right length bolts so i had to buy longer bolts i use grade eight because um they're gold <laughs> probably use stainless let's see if this is long enough please 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 i'm an idiot so this goes down in there that's what holds your bolt see that the little track yeah yeah oh no My bolts are not long enough! Which means you guys scratch this whole thing. Which means I'm not using this tent this weekend. Because I'm leaving out of town in one and a half hours and I do not have time to go get that. So that sucks. Majorly. So I tried, I tried everything I could. I planned, I got the new bolts. Ah, they weren't long enough and now like I said we have I have no time left we're leaving in actually 30 minutes to the cabin so this thing's coming back off we're not camping in it this weekend All right, just like that we are back we are back we are back um, so here's what I had to do. I had to go get longer bolts and I think these are the right ones now. I think we bought about 12 pounds of hardware. Trying to make this all work correctly. So while we're at it, this game, I don't know what this is. Oh, Coleman's, all right, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so first things first, they make it. This thing's super simple. I can, I can get down on that. Let me guess. Stretches over. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Stretches over. Boom! Table picks up. Nice. Awesome. That's sweet. That's sweet. That's a good purchase. So now, like I said before, we have to get uh, the flat plates that mount up underneath the tent. Um, and those are gonna be right, right inside here. So we're gonna get this opened up. Oh no, my bag, my whole thing of bolts is like all the way down there. We're gonna fish them out. We've got the tent a little kind of partially open here. What I'm trying to do is I need to get to, I need to get to that bag right there. That has amounts for the tent. So here is a, uh, when you buy this CBT tent, look at this. Look at this. 
Look at this setup. You've got, uh, I don't know what these are. Oh, you got extras. Extras of freaking everything. Super cool. So here's what we're looking. Here's the rafter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stainless, beautiful, nice. Uh, so these are the parts we needed. So now we can collapse the tent and uh, get that thing on. So before, uh, before we can throw this tent on, I noticed that when we were test fitting it or trying to put it on last time, uh, it scratched up the top. This obviously wasn't powder coated. We didn't have time uh, and it's big. So we coated it. It's got a nice coat of paint on it. Um, but what I noticed was that the uh, it left a bunch of marks uh, where it chipped up the paint. So what I decided to do was to take hockey tape, recoat it all, and then we are hockey taping all of this, um, all the bars on the top, so that uh, for two reasons. One, it won't slide when I set it on to mount it, and then it's got some protection on the metal so we don't get, uh, you know, we don't get rusting. Let's get the rest of this done. Now the fun part. <clears throat> so these are the longer bolts I had to get. Uh, we're running, I think these are four inch. So here are the ones that it came with. These are for uh, obviously like some sort of tiny little rack. So we're gonna pop that out. Uh, this head fits in there. And now these run into, you gotta pop these little plastic ends out. These run into this track. And those are long enough. So here's what I'm talking about. Um, so when you put these in, these little metal tracks, the nut sits in there, that's what holds it, holds it down, slide those in, and then we're going to need two, four, six, we got three crossbars, so we're going to have to get six of those in there, and then we're going to slide them all, the, two all the way forward, to obviously two in the middle, and then two back here, put these little brackets, wham, bam, thank you ma'am, I could have gone a half inch smaller, I'm an idiot. I want to make sure we have the right ones, but whatever. Whatever. So the skid loader would probably make the most sense. <laughs> but we are, uh, I don't want to mess something up here. So my thoughts are, if I can lift this. Oh, shoot. That's heavy. What if we want it? Uh, oh. Oh. Dang! That didn't work very well. There has to be a better way. I nicked up my railings quite a bit. Okay, so this one goes all the way down. This one does not go all the way down. This one goes all the way down. This one stops right here. This one stops in there, this one stops in the back, this one stops right there, this one stops in there, this one stops in the back. Um, oh gosh. All right, in theory. Uh oh, my arm is gonna be stuck in there. Ah, okay, so now see? These sandwich the bar. Pull these up. Boom, right there. Oh, I could have gone shorter, but whatever. I don't care. I do care, but I don't care. Okay, I can't do it. I can't do it. Sawzall's out. I've got to cut these off. Because uh, when you come underneath here, it's going to be pretty tight for room. Uh, I'm not trying to catch... I'm not trying to catch my back on these. So I'm going to... Saws all them babies off. I was going to use a grinder, but I don't want sparks flying all over. I don't want to risk messing up this tent already. I'll have plenty of, plenty of time in the woods to screw up this tent. <laughs> Mark my words. So let's finish getting these mounted up. Let's cut the things up and let's open this freaking thing up.
So here it is. Here is the tent. It's like an episode of Cribs. And we've already got people in here. What's up? up? <gasps> so to give you some in. idea of the size, it's huge in here. Now, this is big. people in here. Well, I'm just under six feet. And this yeah, is the, and got room. This is the short way. Now we just need to figure out how to make it windy through here. I can. All right, I, so I, that's pretty easy. Now let's try to put this annex on. Mm -hmm. 